Bulletproof Radio, a state of high performance. Now, what kind of damage happens to the spine when someone is a side sleeper for decades? So that is really where, uh, when I reviewed these 2000 x-rays, what I found was 90% of my patients had a loss of cervical curve. And I had a loss in cervical curve. And let me, let me show you what that means. And for those of you that are watching, you might be able to see it. But on where my finger's pointing, for those of you that are, are, are not uh, looking at it, this is a flat curve. It used to be called military neck and where you lose the cervical curve in your spine. The other picture is where there's a nice, smooth curve. This is an actual representation of a patient that we had that was using the neck nest. And the flat cervical curve, remember, the body posture of, is, is directly related to the head alignment. So what I found was when somebody loses the cervical curve in their neck, like this patient right here, they pick up a scoliosis in their lower back. And you pick up a scoliosis in your lower back because of a muscle. And this is this wasn't in the literature. I looked everywhere for it. I just, it, it's something that I, I need, more research needs to be done on it. But there was a muscle that I was taught in school. It's the only muscle in the human body that attaches directly to a disc. And that was it. I've never heard it before again. And, and you look it up and it attaches to directly to a disc. But why is there a disc attachment of this muscle? There, it, it's, not, it's, it's by design. But what ended up happening is as the head comes forward, the psoas major muscle, which is the only muscle in the human body that attaches directly to a disc, goes into spasm to take pressure off of the dural tension at the base of the occiput due to that loss of cervical curve from a poor sleeping position. And forward head posture stuff that we but the, do. The psoas is at the base of the spine, but, but that's trying to adjust the spine because the head's in the wrong position. Exactly. Wow. And, and the psoas directly attaches to the disc. So I had a disc weakening issue due to a psoas major muscle spasm because my head was coming forward. And that is why I herniated my disc. I started, I started improving my cervical curve in my neck I started working on my psoas and I've never had back pain again. And I can sleep on my back, wake up. You can put a glass of water on my chest and I'll wake up and that glass of water will still be on my chest. 